Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your man with the plan, Jay Grinds, out here with another YouTube video. In this video today, we are going to be going over the new snipe filters, as it is now season eight, and they are very different. So let's go ahead and get right into them, man. But before we do that, if you guys are new, if you could please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it, as we are on the road to 200 subscribers, which is crazy. We did get this locker code. This was from yesterday or the day before. I have not seen a new locker code for today. I would have expected it to be out already, but we will see. This is 2K23-is-coming. You get a free Galaxy Opal. I pulled Luca here. Whatever. It is what it is. So as I was setting up this video, man, I started doing my intro on the 550 filter, and I saw this happen right here. We get this crazy refresh, and I was just like... I was not I didn't have my controller in my hand then I see this end game Kobe man are you kidding me but then what what is this Kobe 30 Hoff badges and I mean I'm so confused at what this is I had to leave it in the video this I guess is my first end game miss man on the 550 filter comes up for 500 but why does it say that he has 30 badges and all his stats aren't 99 overall that's weird but anyways, the first filter is the 550 filter. Just set your maximum buyout to 550 and keep refreshing. As you see, anything can and will pop up on this filter, including endgame cards, as long as they are put up for less than 550. So this is a great budget filter. We are starting with the budget filters first in this video. So the next filter that we are going to get into is the Dark Matter Cheapest filter, which is different as their price has dropped. What you want to do is set your uh, color to dark matter. Find the cheapest one, which seems to be going for about 7,500, 7,000. Some of them are going for, but I believe you'll be able to sell them for, well, maybe even more than that. Let's see, because those ones were just up too. So it looks like 8,000. 7,950 is what you'll be able to get, because that one for 8,000 has been sitting up for 30 minutes. Here's I'm trying to get these Kobe's because I do need one for the enable filter. Um, but look at these that are popping up. 6,000. I missed all these, so that is what it is. These filters are going to be super competitive today, but they are going to be going insane. So, what you want to do is once you find the cheapest, like I said, 7,900, it seems to be right now, bring this down to about 6,000. And just, come on, man, I missed another one. Bring it down to 6,000 and just keep refreshing. Anything you see on here will be a snipe. Again, on this filter, you can see Endgame, Invincibles, Hero Cards, Dark Matters. You can see them all. And uh, so this is a great filter. It should be going crazy today. Another filter that should be going crazy and has changed from the last night filter video is the Galaxy Opal Cheapest. What you want to do is set your color to Galaxy Opal. Find the cheapest one, which now they are selling for about 5000 There's another snipe there I missed. Okay. So <laughs> they're going for about 5000 It looks like they're selling for pretty quickly. Uh, so what you want to do, let me see here. 53, maybe you can get 55, no, 5400, so maybe 5,250 when they're selling for, but just take a peek at what's, what's they're going for right now. You want to bring your filter down to about maybe 3,500, 3,750, somewhere around there, anywhere where it's just profit. Uh, so if you're selling it for 5,000, you got to take off 500 MT because of tax. So, you know, even if you sell it down to 4,000, you're still technically making profit. So whatever you guys want to do, uh, that is a great filter. It's going to be going crazy as well because there is all these random old cards in the packs today. So it is what it is, but that should be going crazy. Now the bots have stopped buying cards, man. So Opals do not sell for 7,600 anymore. Um, there was um, a little snipe here. There was bots that were buying the Hero Kobe's for like 60,000. I managed to snipe like three or four of them earlier. I was trying to put it in for the video, but the bots have already completely stopped buying everything now, so that sucks. All right, so the next filter is the Diamond Shoe Colorways Nike filter. What you want to do is find the cheapest one going, which is for about 3,100, 3,000, and brand Nike Color Diamond Shoe Colorways, and just set this down to about 2,000 and keep refreshing. Anything you see on here is a snipe. This filter should be going crazy today because typically at the start of a new season, 2K releases a locker code which has diamond shoe consumable packs on it, diamond contracts, uh, and some other stuff that you can get. So contract filter and diamond shoe 
colorway should be going crazy. I did check the diamond shoot all filter. It's not even worth it, I don't think. Just they're going for about 1300, so I guess you could try and snipe them for 500 or something. But next filter, like I mentioned, is the diamond contract filter. This filter should be going crazy. What you want to do is find the cheapest one, which if this locker code does come out and it has diamond contracts able to get on it, they'll probably drop to about 15,000. So what you want to do is drop your maximum buyout down to about 10,000 and snipe anything you see on here and probably hold it for a week or two and the price will go back up to about 20,000. Uh, that's what I did the last two seasons. But um, if they don't drop a locker code, which this still is a good filter, you want to find the cheapest one, which is going for about 20,000. So you want to bring this down to about 15,000 for your maximum buyout. So consumables, contract cards, colored diamond, maximum buyout about 15,000 and just keep refreshing here. If they're, well, no, this filter will still be active because Domination has diamond contract cards in it uh, this this season. So it's a good filter to work on, but hopefully they drop a locker code with a diamond contract and you can get tons and tons. I sniped like 15 of these in like an hour uh, the start of season seven. So <laughs> next filter is a new budget filter. It is the Grizzlies team filter. So what you want to do is go down to team, set it to Grizzlies, find the cheapest one, which is going for about 4,000 MT right now. And because of the exchange that they have um, going on for a new Dark Matter, Jaron Jackson Jr. So you want to set this down to about 3,000, maybe 2,750, somewhere around there. It just depends how much profit you guys want to make. But, uh, and then you'll be able to sell these very, very quickly for 4,000. And just watch, because the price do, does rise and drop on the, these type of filters, like the Timberwolves filter and stuff. Um, so just monitor it. Make sure you're sniping them and not selling them for too cheap when you repost them up. The next filter we're gonna get into is the end game filter, man. There are more cards available to snipe on this filter now. Um, as you can, as you saw earlier, I did apparently miss my first end game. I think that was just a glitch with the bat. I don't know what was going on with that card, but so what you want to do is set your theme to end game, minimum buyout to 500, and just keep refreshing. Hopefully, this will be more active now that there's four, huh? four cards that can pop up on that filter now. The next filter that you want to get into is the invincible. Uh, filter so set your theme to invincible minimum buyout to 500 and just keep refreshing i was just doing a quick check it does look like every single invincible is still a snipe at this point in time i uh, just monitor that as they are starting to get cheaper but this filter should be a lot more active now since there is tons of invincibles in the game now so just keep refreshing and snipe anything you see next filter we're going to go over we're going to take a look at the hero cheapest this filter might be <clears throat> made irrelevant at this point um, with Kobe being in the packs Okay, so he's 24. Let's see what he's going for now <clears throat> Excuse me. Bring this down Okay, it's 22 still have been up for 15 minutes. We need to bring this cheap much cheaper Earlier man, I was trying to get this video out for you guys for about 10 minutes after the packs dropped bots were buying these hero Kobe's for about 60,000. I sold mine for 57 56 I was trying to find what the sweet sweet spot was and uh, I sniped like four or five of them and did <clears throat> Did make about 60 no like almost 100 KMT on those uh, so the Hero cheapest filter is not gonna be a thing because it's no point in sitting on that instead of just the dark matter cheapest where you can see everything uh, so the next filter we're going to get into is the hero enabled filter which is still good but it might cost a little bit more mt to set up what you want to do is have every buy now hero card in your collection which there's quite a few of them at this point um, and make sure you don't have any expensive ones like kareem mj kd um, lebron send all those to your auction so they're not in your collection now if you have locked in for will you will not be able to use this filter as the cards will never show up once you enable now, with the packs, with the Hero Kobe in the packs now, this will not work without a scroll, so I'm going to show you how to do this using Dwayne Wade, but what you want to do is just find any card that doesn't have a bunch up, so you can work on a small scroll. But Dwayne Wade seems to work the best, so what you want to do is set your minimum buyout to 500, scroll your minimum bid up to like 85,000 to start with, um, and then hit enabled and see what, what comes up. 
Um, I'm going to show you with Dwayne Wade, I have to not hit enable because I have the card in my collection. So I'm going to bump this up to 89,000. So you see here we have a four card scroll in the four hours and then two after four hours, which is great. Um, and we can actually bump this up to like 90,300 and go down to a two card scroll. So raise your minimum bid up. And then we have only a two card scroll. And the card for Snipe, most Snipes get posted for four hours, so they will come up right in between these two Dwayne Wades I was just showing you. The one for three hours and 31 minutes, and the next one for 15 hours. So you know this is a working filter because you can see cards for after four hours. Um, I believe that is the last filter we are going to go over today, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new, please subscribe and leave a like. Y'all have a blessed day. Jay Grinds out.